So chest tubes are usually inserted by a physician at the bedside. The entry point is usually the fourth or fifth intercostal space. Intercostal means in between the ribs. So the entry point is usually in between the fourth or fifth ribs on the mid-axillary line. Something to keep in mind when inserting a chest tube, the blood vessels and the nerve running with the rib run underneath the rib. So it's important when you're doing procedures that involve ribs to work on top of the rib because that's where the blood vessels and the nerve are not. When inserting a chest tube, the tip of the tube is usually pointed towards the collection. Since air goes up, chest tubes usually point up for a pneumothorax. Don't be surprised if somebody has a, a hemothorax or an empyema to see the chest tube pointing down. If air is the only thing we're trying to remove from the pleural space, we can use a smaller caliber chest tube. If we are trying to collect blood or empyema purulence from the pleural space, then we'll need to use a larger caliber chest tube, a chest tube with a larger diameter. So here's a chest x-ray with a chest tube inserted. And if you look very carefully, the chest tube will have markings on it so we can see it on chest x-ray. Once the, ch Once the chest tube is put in place, they're usually sutured into place. So the chest tubes are usually sutured into place and then secured. They're usually dressed with Vaseline gauze to prevent leaks at the insertion site. So if we put vacuum on this, if we put suction on this chest tube, then we don't want air to enter the pleural space. So we'll usually dress the chest tube with Vaseline gauze to prevent leaks at the insertion site. The earliest forms of chest tubes were connected to nothing more than a Heimlich valve, which is a one-way valve. So a Heimlich valve, a back check valve, or a check valve, is a one-way valve. So Heimlich valves, check valves, only allow air to move in one direction. These valves will not allow air to enter the chest from the chest tube. However, nowadays you will likely find a much more complex collection system connected to the chest tube.